morning. <coughs> I'm glad Landon come in and sang that song. It's a great song, Reckless Love of God. And it kind of goes with the message today. Um, psalm 56. Uh, according to my Bible here, it says that it was to the leader, according to the dove on, on far off terebinth of David uh, when the Philistines seized him in Gath. So we can assume from that context that David was in captivity when he wrote this particular song. Uh, we know he was fighting the Philistines a lot, so. as well as fighting a front against Saul and several other fronts. And we know he had to be facing other things internal, internally as well, especially when he's faced with something like a physical em enemy that's going to be trying to their best to tear him apart, to destroy him. You've got to be questioning who you are internally because God has made this promise to him that his line would live on forever and his kingdom would reign forever. But here he is fighting these battles that could nearly cost him his life at any moment. And we as Christians all know that God has made promises to us. That we have things to do, we have people to live for, we have people to minister to, people to witness to. But then we go through these moments in our lives where everything seems to be unraveled. Where we have our struggles, where we have our internal thoughts, our doubts, our disbeliefs, our depressions, our anxieties. When we start to question, I dare say sometimes we question God and what he's told us, what the promises he's made to us, if we care to listen or not. And I feel like David, although this may be talking specifically about the Philistines when he's talking about the people around them or the enemies that are facing them, but he may even be talking about the own voices in his head, his self-doubt, his depression. Maybe he's just talking about Satan altogether and the fight against them there spiritually. And when I read this psalm, it reminds me that I'm not alone in those battles. That one, many, many people and people around me, people I love, are fighting silent battles every day that nobody knows. But two, the God who created me this universe, who sent his son to die for me, is fighting with me every step of the way I'm not alone. And so Psalm 56 says, Be gracious to me, O God, for people trample on me. All day long foes oppress me. My enemies trample on me all day long, for many fight against me. O oh, Most High, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I'm not afraid. What can flesh do to me? All day long they seek to injure my cause. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They stir up strife, they lurk, they watch my steps as they hope to have my life. So repay them for their crime and wrath. Cast down the peoples, O oh God. You have kept count of my tossing, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Then my enemies will retreat in the day when I call. This I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, the Lord, whose word I praise, in God I trust, I am not afraid. What can a mere mortal do to me? My vows in you I must perform, O oh God. I will render thank offerings to you, for you have delivered my soul from death and my feet from falling, so that I may walk before God in the light of life. And when I read that, I have no other words but amen. So be it. That no matter what I'm facing, no matter what enemies throw at me, no matter what self-doubt comes into mind, no matter what depression sinks on me and puts me in a low spot in my heart and my mind, no matter what anxieties and fears fall on me, 
I know that I can trust in God. I know that I can lean on God. I know that I can walk with God. And then just as a mere act of proof, he has another one of his own send me a message throughout the week. Here's you a hug. That was so uplifting to get that text message. Here's you a hug. I need to do it. Sometimes a random stranger would just look at you and go, God bless you. I mean that. When you get home from work and your kids and your wife come running to you, it's such a great feeling. That no matter what happened out there in the world, no matter what happened at work, I could have the worst day ever. I know when I get home, they're going to come running to me. Because God has a plan for me. God has set something up for me to do in this world. So no matter what's going on in my mind, no matter what's going on in my heart, no matter what's going on in the world around me, no matter what things the enemy throws at me, I know I have God on my side. So much so he sent his son to take my burdens and my sins and die. And his son defeated death for me. I can't imagine what David was facing in those days of captivity with Philistine. Every day wondering if it's going to be his last day. Is God's promise going to be made real or is this where it ends? How can my kingdom reign forever if I don't be made king? How can my line endure forever if I die right here? God had other plans. I know what images and promises God's given me. I have no idea how to describe them, but I know what they are. If I have to go through all of these hardships, how is that going to be possible? It's back to trusting God. That these hardships are going to make me stronger. These hardships are going to make me who He needs me to be. Even when it's hard for me to go through when I have self-doubt, when I take pity on myself, when I fall into a state of depression, whenever I start having anxiety about what's coming next, I have to remember I don't have control over that. Why am I worried? Trust in the one who does. He has given me control over the things I can't control. Why don't I worry about those things? Instead, I'm worried about things I can't control. He has created this entire universe. He has put this world all around us. You look up at night, you see the stars. He put them there. He guides ships across oceans. He starts to count seasons. That's just the days that in life. He painted sunsets and sunrises that we can only imagine that we try to imitate on canvas and paint. It makes absolutely no sense for a fuzzy worm to turn into a beautiful butterfly. But God made it do it. Why am I worried? I'm not alone. I have God. that solve all my problems, my self-doubt, my worry, my depression, my anxiety? No. It gives me hope. I'm still going to struggle with those things, but I don't have to struggle alone. I can almost promise you there ain't a person in here who wouldn't raise their hand if they were being truly honest when they've had moments like that. 
every man caring for his family, every woman trying to provide for her children, every child facing a test at school has had struggles and self doubt. Every grandparent watching the next generation and the next generation and the next generation grow up in worse and worse economies or getting addicted to drugs or addicted to television or addicted to electronics or wasteful spending when they had to try so hard to save every penny. They have worry and went down. But one promise we all share, especially as Christians, because we know it and we can trust it. If we have Christ to lean on, God is with us. I think this world's getting so dependent on electronic money because they want to get out of our hands the cash that says in God we trust. This world wants us to forget about God. can't do that. Another psalm in here. Yeah, you gotta walk through the valley of the shadow. Oh, fear no evil. Thou art with me. There's a recurring theme with David. No matter what he faced, no matter where he went in life, no matter what he was doing, even in his mistakes, he turned back to God. When he lusted after Bathsheba and sent Uriah to his death, he was reprimanded for it by Samuel. He turned back to God. So bold as to dance through the streets till his clothes come off and then berate Mariah for getting on to him. Said, Woman, I'm dancing for God. I pray that I can be like David, that no matter what I'm facing, I can turn to God. And even in my mistakes, I still know that I can turn back to God because He will forgive me. That no one else in the world will heed me. So I have to say, He may have been facing physical enemies. I feel like he was facing one of the greatest enemies we all have, and that's ourselves. How much God can we take a shepherd, the youngest of all the children, and make him a king? But he did. He did. of a known prostitute. Don't forget Rahab was his great, great, however many numbered grandmother. The descendant of a Moabite born Ruth. But the ancestor of our Savior Whatever we're facing, know that we're not alone. Don't let the thoughts in. Don't let the enemy in. Don't let him have control of your heart and your mind. When those thoughts start coming in, pray. When the doubt starts to sink in, pray. It can be as simple as God help me today. I had that thought one day a few weeks ago. And I wrote a song. I'm not about to try and sing it for you because I'm not good with melodies and music. But I'll read it to you, what I have. So far, there are three verses. 
Says, Lord, give me peace like a river. Show me that amazing grace. Carry me down this lonely highway and take me to your resting place. Lift me up when my soul is burdened. Take me high above the clouds. Give me strength when my spirit's hurting. Lord, I long to see you now. Fill my cup till it runneth over. Heal me with your mighty hand. Make me brave just like a soldier. Carry me to your promise. That changed my entire life. I had no idea how I come up with that. I just started singing it to myself my whole day. Just a simple cry out to God. Remember, we're not alone. And remember, others go through those struggles too. Don't hesitate to pray for one another. And don't hesitate to ask for prayer. Hey Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessings you've given us. A simple reminder that your presence is constant. Thank you for the promise of salvation that you gave to us through Jesus Christ, that you would be willing to sacrifice your son on a cross for our sin. Lord, I ask that if anybody's struggling with those self doubt, with those depression, suicidal thoughts, anxieties, if anything that's going on in their minds, Lord, that they would come to you and find rest, that they would lean on you, that they would put their trust in Jesus. Lord, I ask that you be with each and every one of us as we carry that message, that thought out with us, that no matter what we're facing, no matter what struggles we're going through, we have you to lean on. We can find rest in your presence. Lord, I ask that you carry us all out here with that message so that we can share it with others and that we don't hesitate to reach out to those that we know are hurting or to reach out to those who we know will pray with when we're hurting. That we are not alone in this struggle. We're not alone in this world. We are all one body in Christ and we should remember that no matter what, you are with us. long to protect us and long to 